Hey, how's it going? Dylan here. Uh, this is this video is a quick little follow up to my video that I posted um, last uh, week, which was on uh, high quality water in Unreal, grabbing it from Houdini, um, so a proper water simulation. And essentially, I wanted to do a little follow up video because a lot of people uh, were interested in asking. Um, asking how you would do kind of white water related sims and um, uh, and or bubbles. So essentially what I've done, I've done a little bit of research and testing, uh, managed to get a system that kind of allows for a simple implementation of it. Um, it's, it's kind of most useful for like bubble patches and things like that, just variation in the water, not full on splashing white water and such. Um, but perhaps I will get onto that at a later date. Uh, but yes, so what you're seeing now is some little renders that I pushed out. Um, these, well, these are actually real-time renders, um, uh, so that they're not uh, extra time samples or anything. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it looks quite nice. Uh, it's a nice improvement from just the clear water, uh, and you know, it's it's just a basic implementation. So you could do some more advanced things with it. So let's have a look at it. So here we are in Houdini. Um, so it's a basic setup, same setup basically as before, except I've generated some white water. Um, so this is the mesh that's coming in from the fluid sim. And then basically what I am doing is I'm bringing in the white water sim, which we'll see it in a sec, there we go. So that's the white water sim there, based off of that fluid sim. And then essentially what I'm doing is I'm scattering it to points and um, just coloring them white. This is just a really basic way of doing it. Um, and essentially, then I'm doing an attribute transfer onto the mesh, which writes the color into the vertex color of the mesh, which we can then use in Unreal as a mask. Now it's not fully uh, showing up correctly there. I'll, I'll view the... Um, I'm also attribute blurring it a little bit. We view the actual Alembic. This is what it looks like with the proper simmed out. Um, so yeah, you get like a nice mask for where you can do some white watery things in Unreal. So then you would export it to Alembic and essentially just bring it into Unreal as we did last time. There's no extra steps you need to do. The vertex color comes in with it. Okay, so here we are in Unreal. So this is a sim that I uh, prepared earlier. Um, so this one here is a similar one to the original one I showed. It's a, this particular one is a, I think it's a one, only a 100 frame loop, not a 200, just to save on space. Um, but this one here has that uh, vertex color data baked in, which you might be able to see if I stop, turn off the motion blur, you can kind of see what's going on doesn't look amazing in this view, obviously, but it's, it's all about how it looks in motion. Um, so essentially what I've done is inside the material, um, we can get rid of these guys here. Um, so it's a thin translucent material like last time, just with a few little extra additions. It's a bit messy. Uh, but essentially, the gist of what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the vertex color, just the red channel, because it's in all, every channel that we output, and multiplying that by a uh, randomized moving noise here. It's just quite, quite a simple setup, uh, with just to break it up that little bit more and kind of give it more of an appearance of bubbles. And then I'm actually piping that through a height to normal smooth node um, and blending it with the vertex normals. Uh, to create some like difference in refraction and the, the actual normal response. Um, essentially what I'm aiming for in this instance is a kind of bubbly look um, or almost kind of white water but more towards the bubble side. Um, and then yeah using that same mask to lerp some different opacity values, a different color value, so white for the where the bubbles are and the base color that's set in the instance for the actual color of the water. Um, and then, yeah, same with the roughness. There's, there's a difference in roughness, although with the current setup I'm using, because I'm using the high quality lumen reflections, um, roughness doesn't really make a, any difference in this instance. 
uh, but if you're using a different different reflection type then that may um, and same with opacity there so essentially what we're how we're going um, you can see I've set some of the attributes here and if I zoom whoop, sorry I'm in a camera um, if I come closer you can kind of see this kind of patterny noise that I've got going just to break it up looks a bit dodgy when it's standing still but uh, if I set it to run and then we simulate as you can see it kind of feels a lot more bubbly here especially kind of near the edges um, you get this really nice kind of look to it um, definitely there's improvements to be made here um, it's kind of obviously it's a little bit jittery in flat areas like here um, and you can see down here that it kind of looks a bit strange and that's mainly uh, that, that can mainly probably be fixed if I simmed this out at something higher than 24 frames a second um, because the vertex color stuff doesn't get interpolated uh, between frames in, um, in Unreal whereas the actual geometry does in the geometry cache import process that we covered last time. So essentially that's how I kind of got this basic, very basic kind of white water going but you know it's adequate. It looks quite nice here. Sorry for the frame rate. Um, there's a bug at the moment. When I stop moving the camera, the frame rate drops for some reason <laughs> uh, in the current build of Unreal I'm using. Uh, but yeah, look like, I mean, the side on to that kind of water coming down from the pipe uh, looks quite nice. Um, and you get like the, all these nice little, little accents of white and refraction, especially over this side, uh, which feels quite, you know, pleasing. A little bit of it down here as well, I believe. Yep, on the side here. So, yeah, essentially that's how I went about getting some basic white water uh, or bubbles into the setup. Um, I'm hoping to kind of test proper white water, like splashes and stuff, but probably a little while waiting on that. I'm pretty busy at the moment, but. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little look at implementing uh, some bubbles into the sims with uh, for the technique that I covered in the last um, video about water. If you enjoyed, leave a like and hit me up on Twitter um, over at, at DilzerX. Um, always happy to have a chat about these techniques. Uh, this particular sim, you might notice my frame rate is a bit low. This particular sim is very high res. Um, it was This is kind of like a more cinematic, uh, pre-rendered resolution um, that I just had handy to, to demonstrate how the white water works. You could obviously do a low res sim and it will run a lot better than it does on here. But also there's a lot more going on here, there's ray tracing going on and all of that fun stuff and such. Alright, till next time, take care and enjoy it.